amazing. You're, you're wonderful. You're... A little unorthodox, I'll admit, but thy deed is great and thine heart is pure. I am eternally in your debt. <coughs> and where would a brave knight be without his noble steed? All right, I hope you heard that. She called me a noble steed. She think I'm a steed? <laughs> the battle is won. You may remove your helmet, good sir knight. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Why not? I... I have helmet hair. Please, I would look upon the face of my rescuer. Oh, no, you wouldn't, Durst. But how will you kiss me? What the what? <laughs> that wasn't in the job description. Maybe it's a perk. No, it's destiny. Oh, you must know how it goes. A princess locked in a tower and beset by a dragon is rescued by a brave knight. And then they share true love's first kiss. Hmm? With Shrek? You think, wait, whoa, 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 wait a You think that Shrek is your true love? Well, yes. <laughs> you think Shrek is your true love? <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> Let's just say I'm not your type, okay? Of course you are. You're my rescuer. Now, now remove your helmet. Look, I really don't think this is a good idea. Just take off the helmet. I'm not going to. Take it off. No! Now! Okay! Easy! As you command, your highness. You, you're a, an ogre. Oh, you were expecting Prince Charming? Well, yes, actually. Oh, no. This is all wrong. You're not supposed to be an ogre. Princess, I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad, okay? He's the one who wants to marry you. Well, then why didn't he come rescue me? Good question. You should ask him that when we get there. But I have to be rescued by my true love. Not by some ogre and, and, his, and his pet. Well, so much for noble steed. Look, Princess, you're not making my job any easier. Well, I'm sorry, but your job is not my problem. You can tell Lord Farquaad that if he wants to rescue me properly, I'll be waiting for him right here. Hey, I'm no one's messenger boy, all right? I'm a delivery boy. You wouldn't dare. You're coming, Donkey. Down. Oh, yep, I'm right behind you. Oh, put me down or you will suffer the consequences. This is not dignified. Put me down. <laughs> okay, so here's another question. Say there's a woman that digs you, right, but you don't really like her that way. Now, how do you let her down real easy so her feelings aren't hurt, but you don't get burned to a crisp and eat? How do you do that? Well, just tell her she's not your true love. Everyone knows what happens when you find your... <laughs> The sooner we get to Dulock, the better. Oh, yeah, you're gonna love it there, Princess. It's beautiful! And what of my groom-to-be, Lord Farquaad? What's he like? Well, let me put it this way, Princess. <gasps> Men of Farquaad's stature are in short supply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Shrek. There are those who think little of him. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, both of you. You know you're just jealous that you could never measure up to a great ruler like Lord Farquaad. Yeah. Well, maybe you're right, Princess. But I'll let you do the measuring when you see him tomorrow. Tomorrow? It'll take that long? Shouldn't we stop to make camp? No, that'll take longer. We can keep going. But th there's robbers in the woods. Whoa, time out, Shrek. Camping's definitely starting to sound good. Hey, come on. I'm scarier than anything we're gonna see in this forest. I need to find somewhere to camp now! <clears throat> hey, over here! Shrek, we can do better than that. Now, I don't think this is fit for a princess. No, no, it's perfect. It just needs a few homie touches. Homie touches? Like what? A door? Well, gentlemen, I bid thee good night. Um, you want me to come in there and read your bedtime story? Because I will. I said good night! 
Shrek, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you know. Oh, come on, I was just kidding. <laughs>